YouTube. Uh, I've been playing around with my little Slayer. My little Slayer Exciter coil. And I've always had it running on just one of these TIP 35C transistors. And so I just wondered what it would be like um, putting two on and you know, having them in parallel. And so that's what I've done. And all you got to do really is just double these up uh, in the way your collectors would be. Just join them both up on the coil uh, bases, both of them join them together. And the emitters, you just have to put a couple of resistors on, really low, low image resistors. I think they're like uh, 0. Point, I think it's 3, 3, something like that, uh, on each of the emitters just to make sure that it equally uh, distributes the, capacity, the, um, the current usage between the two transistors. So, and I've just got the yeah, little capacitor there, just pushed into here, and there's another capacitor there. With, with these capacitors on it, just it just gives the, um, just a little bit more oomph. I mean, you know, don't expect too much of it. All I'm doing really is just sharing the load down here, which I thought would be quite a good idea. So, if I start turning up the, the voltage. Now, I've had to turn off my computer and everything to do this. Because one thing I've noticed is, um, well, my computer just wouldn't start up again. When I had it on, so I'm wondering what it's going to do to my phone. There we go, get a bit of break out. And that's at 3 amps on 13 volts there, look, 14 volts. But if I take my hands away, you have a better idea what's going on. That's an old transistor. Well, not an old transistor, I mean, it's an old style transistor. But it was one that came through the post, but it just didn't work, so. So it's just been used for this. So I'd turn that up a little bit. Not bad. Some power. And of course, the absolute maximum for that SIP 35 uh, is 5 amps. Yeah, just sat there and doing that. I've got a bit of a bit of fan on there, there's two 12 volt fans uh, in series. I don't think it uh, performs as well as just one because this is the basic setup still. I have changed the colour of the LED, I've changed the resistor, and I also tried with a variable resistor. Um, in there, that's a 50k resistor, but I set it off on around about 4.2, 4.6, and it's there. It's there that it works. Any more resistance than that, it's not really making a big difference, but any less resistance than that, and it just shuts the circuit off. So, you know, that's the only difference I could find with that. If I try different capacitors, I can get a slightly less, you know, less sort of powerful up here. Um, it's not really coming out that long in length. It's more, it does seem quite powerful, but it doesn't. It's not like when there was one, you know, on my other videos where I've got this exact same setup, part of my haven't got two transistors parallel. Um, and it actually seems like it works better, like you get better output. Now, I've used a single loop here as well because I get, well, I, I draw more current, definitely. If I am, I'm probably drawing about between four, four, five, and just over five. Yeah. The normal one that I put on, but I've tried these others as well. Oops, say goodbye to Ariel. I've tried these, and the more turns that there are, so there's two, three, and four turns, and one turn actually around it. And the more turns I use, the, the more current, the less current I use, um, which is great. 
but I was just trying to see if I could get these to run above 5 amps for that fine. Uh, and of course it does. That's a bit warm. That's it, it's just one, one bit of wire going around for the primary coil. Nothing to see here really. I'm trying to see if there's something else I can put on top. Um, so a little bit better than just that. What have we got here that I can use? Uh, got this. So this is like, I'll just put that on there. And just start turning it up. First, oh, that's because the uh, chances are I've, I've messed with this. I just pop it out for a second. Just it's a little bit temperamental. Here it comes to. It's just a little bit temperamental because I haven't screwed any of these in, you know, I've just been pushing them in and just trying them out. Just uh, so that's nearly two lumps, that little tiny bit there. It makes my fang a bit mad. So it's not really, you know, as good as. Uh, I don't think it is anyway. I lost the amplitude over there now. Look. I wonder if my camera's gonna unzoom. There we go. I wasn't. Oh, I don't know if it was me. It could have been me. My thumb's right by where the uh, the thing would be to do that. I did have a bolt earlier, I had a bolt on top, that was quite good. I don't know what I've done with it. I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, I wonder what can happen if I could stand the coin on its side. I think that would just... Probably out of all the coins I could try this with, it's probably the wrong coin. Probably find out it's like rounded edges or something. Pretty typical. Ah, here it is. I'll just grab all of that. I'm about to uh, turn off my computer and uh, disconnect it from the mains. And hopefully, I'm going to turn it back on again, it will work. What made the museum and stuff? I think that's an LED that's stuck to the. But it's not really doing a great deal, is it? It's not really a. Even though we're using all that extra power. Like 5.5 amps. When it goes up to 6 when I go near it, I don't think you should just ignore it, it's just because I'm connected to it. Just a bit of a pain. I'll turn it back up again now. Oh, it's going to make me want to get over this again. There we go, we've got it. And of course we've got no break up now. I'm going to just try and see what it's like. Just by itself. 
Why is this sort of snappy as the other one? I'm going to turn that up. Well, as well, about 5.5 .5 amps, and just turn it as high as I can take it. Something went pop. I presume that's something to do with the inside of my power supply, but we'll have to figure that out. That's quite warm there. It did sound like the sort of clunk noise came from over here, over that way, so it'll be interesting. See how warm we got there. Yeah, it's pretty warm. I don't want to keep my hand on it for too long because that's pretty warm. Oh, this is what we do, don't we? We gotta push it to find out how these things are gonna work or not. So let me just see if we got. Oh, that's saying we got no output on here. So I'm gonna suggest that the trouble that I've got then. Is inside here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Gives me a reason to go in the back and do a failed fix. But so uh, yeah. Okay. Can I have careful how you connect your stuff up? But it does. Uh, you know, it, it does. It does work. These transistors will be fine. And it means you know you can put that little bit of extra power through. Just don't push your um, power supplies too far. But we get that figured out. Anyway, cheers for watching. Bye.